friends, we're here doing our read aloud, the uh, last video of the day, and guess what? We are moving on to the next book. Magic Treehouse, number two, The Night at Dawn. Ooh, I see a horse and a knight, and looks like Jack and Annie, and there's a castle in the background. All right, Night at Dawn, here we come. Chapter One, The Dark Woods. Jack couldn't sleep. He put his glasses on. He looked at the clock. It was 5.30. Too early to get up. Yesterday, so many strange things had happened. Now he was trying to figure them out. He turned on the light. He picked up his notebook. He looked at the list he'd made before going to bed. Found treehouse in woods. Found lots of books in it. Pointed to pteranodon book picture in book. Made a wish. Went to time of dinosaurs. Pointed to a picture of Frog Creek Wood Woods, made a wish, and came home to Frog, Frog Creek. Jack pushed his glasses into place. Who is going to believe any of this? His mom wouldn't believe it. Neither would his dad or his third grade teacher, Miss Watkins. Only his seven-year-old sister Annie understood. She'd gone with him to the time of the dinosaurs. Can you sleep? Annie was standing in the doorway. Nope, said Jack. Me neither, said Annie. What are you doing? She walked over to Jack and looked at his notebook. She read the list. Aren't you going to write about the gold medal, she asked. You mean the gold medallion, Jack said. He picked up his pencil and wrote, found this in dinosaur time. Aren't you going to put the letter M on the medal, said Annie. Medallion, said Jack, not medal. He added an M. So there's his drawing of the medallion with the M. Aren't you going to write about the magic person, said Annie. We don't know for sure if there's a magic person, said Jack. Well, someone built the treehouse in the woods and someone put the books in it. Someone lost a gold medal in dinosaur time, said Annie. Medallion, said Jack, for the third time. And I'm just writing the facts, the stuff we know for sure. Let's go back to the treehouse right now, said Annie, and find out if the magic person is a fact. Are you nuts, said Jack? The sun's not even up yet. Come on, said Annie, maybe we can catch them sleeping. I don't think we should go there, said Jack. He was worried. If the magic person was... What if the magic person was mean? What if he or she didn't want kids to know about the treehouse? Well, I'm going, said Annie. Jack looked out his window out the dark gray sky. It was almost dawn. He sighed. Okay, get dressed. I'll meet you at the back door. Be quiet. Yay, whispered Annie. She tiptoed away as quietly as a mouse. Jack put on jeans, a warm sweatshirt, and sneakers. He tossed his notebook and pencil in his backpack. He crept downstairs. Annie was waiting by the door, the back door. She shined a flashlight in Jack's face. Ta-da! A magic wand, she said. Shh! Don't wake up Mom and Dad, whispered Jack. And turn that flashlight off. We don't want anyone to see us. Annie nodded and turned the flashlight off. Then she clipped it to her belt. Jack and Annie slipped out the door into the cool early morning air. Crickets were chirping. The dog next door barked. Quiet, Henry asked, whispered Annie. Henry stopped barking. Animals always seem to know what we're doing, Annie said. Let's run, said Jack. Jack and Annie dashed across the dark, wet lawn and didn't stop until they reached Frog Creek Woods. We need the flashlight now, said Jack. Annie took it off her belt and switched it on. Step by step, she and Jack walked between the trees. Jack held his breath. The dark woods were a little scary. Gotcha, said Annie, shining the flashlight in Jack's face. Jack jumped, and then he frowned. Cut it out, he said. I'm, I scared you, said Annie. Jack glared at her. Stop pretending, he whispered. This is serious. Okay, okay, Annie shined her flashlight into the tops of the trees. Now what are you doing, said Jack. Looking for the treehouse. The light stopped moving. The mysterious treehouse sat high in the branches of the tallest tree in the woods. Annie shined her light down the long rope ladder. I'm going up, she said. Still holding the flashlight, she began to climb. Wait, Jack called. What if someone was in the treehouse? Annie, come back. But Annie was gone. The light had disappeared, and Jack was alone in the dark. And that is the end of chapter one. 
we will pick up where we left off tomorrow. I wonder where they're going to go. Using the clues on the front of the book. Somewhere in medieval times. <laughs>